Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So I was gone for a day.、Um, it was just Chinese New Year holiday, and decided to you know go go out with my my family and stuff, and、um, just basically t- took a little bit, bit of a break. Actually, I'm always taking breaks. It's it's actually really bad. I I <laughs> used to be a lot lot more hardworking. I should I should definitely get back into that. Like. You know the new Indras came out and I didn't even know like what they were. Someone left a comment on, on my channel like from that less last、uh, legendary summon was like I I summon an Indra like you know fire Indra is he good?、Uh, and then I, I was thinking like what the hell is an Indra? I, I thought it was the I thought it was the dragon thing that that like from before like I thought I thought it was this thing but I th- like I thought this was like farmable off maps or something. And then I I um. Yeah, then I realized that there are actually some new monsters in the game. Actually, no, I was I was doing the free summon. And I saw the the thing, the the little ad, you know, with the chance up, pop up, and yeah, like I I I haven't even gotten a chance to to even look at them, you know, let, let alone review. They actually have some really really cool skills, like Elemental Edge,、uh, which basically is like it's it's good for like all bosses basically. So he, they're like basically made to. To do clan battles because they have like clan battle leader skills, and I don't think Seal really does anything. But that that first skill does does quite a lot, and then like HP leverage does more damage on like you know targets with higher max HP. So that means like bosses with a lot of HP do more damage. So it's like it's like they they created these monsters just to do guild battles.、Um, Yeah, the same same thing like Elemental Edge with Hunter, and then like this one's like double HP leverage. So it's like.、Um, <laughs> Monster that 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 are like perfect for doing guild battles, but in in my opinion, I don't think、um, I don't think guild battles are really worth focusing on. I think it's just a, a little thing you you do on the side while you're working on like whatever whatever wherever you are in progression,、um, giants, dragons, whatever. But you, like if you're past dragons, you're already already like farming B10 every single week.、Um, obviously, you can make your team more stable, so you have you don't have to do as many. Um, refills and stuff, but it's not always easy. Like you know, it's not as easy as just raising a monster. You have to, a lot of times, you have to like try to get the perfect gens to to make it possible. So、um, yeah, I, I I do understand that those those type of things do take quite a lot of time, and you can work on something on the side. So it's it's always nice that they have new content for us to work on, on the side.、Um, I'm thinking of just going six stars with my with the dark cult. But the the thing is, there's a there's a new monster coming out for rebirth very very soon in like five days.、Um, I don't think it's in the game yet. Like I, I you can't really see it. Oh no, wait. Five days was five days ago.、Um, it's it's actually one more day until the the next rebirth.、Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is actually I'm I'm gonna start working on some other monster, and I'm actually not maybe not going to. Um, six star my cult. Like this gem set is still usable. This these gems are really really good.、Um, you know this. Well, this one this one's decent. Like this one's not super good, but it does have like seven percent attack, which is not that bad.、Um, and then this attack one is really good. Like it's it's an attack crit rate twenty one percent gem. So this one's definitely really good.、Um, like this one can definitely be replaced. I think. Like I don't I don't really need the this. Probably would be really good if I just put out my Dark Sea Star, but I can't really afford to give my Dark Sea Star these these gems because my my team for dragons needs the best gems possible. I don't know if it's if it's a good idea to work on this guy for now, or because I, I think I I really do want to try using Dark Mona in the future.、Um, what I just saw from the the wiki is that Dark Mona does have. Um, it's basically the the really funny thing is if you saw my video last time of me putting together my my dragons B10 team, well not B10. Yeah, this is this team is meant for B10,、um, but it, I'm not sure if they're able to do B10. But I, I'm gonna try to make them go as far as possible.、Um, but the 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 thing is, I was I was actually like talking.、Um, I was、uh, theory craft, well, not theory crafting. I was just basically making up a monster in theory. Like I was literally on video. I, I, sh- I probably could link it. it. Was it was it was a、uh, it was pretty funny. I was、um, linking. Well, the the funny thing it wasn't what I saw on video. The funny thing was like how much of a coincidence that the Dark Mona is basically exactly the monster that I predicted、um, or or I I wanted. Basically, I was I was coming up with a monster in theory that、um, is a dark monster that has 
that has attack le leader for dark monsters, plus um, morale boost on first skill, and hunter on second skill. So basically, the dark Mona is exactly um, that monster, which is which is really funny. Oh, actually, they're out. I didn't think they were actually in in game. Um, I thought it would come out tomorrow after they they changed the rebirths. So yeah, he she basically is the the monster like the exact monster that I wanted. Um, variant leader skill to to at increase attack power of all dark monsters, morale boost on first skill and hunter on second skill, which is pretty dumb. Like I I don't I don't know how this happened. And that it she actually looks really really cool. Like the the dark variant version looks really good. Yeah, I always wanted to raise a Mona as well, so I think, um, I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait one day. I'm gonna try to get her, and then I can use her for, for dragons in the future. But I'm not exactly too sure if that's a good idea because she's a AOE attacker, while the Dark Cult is a is a single target one, and the, the single target one is really really good for, um, for basically, just uh, killing you know just. Killing, killing one monster because you don't necessarily want to use your AOE nukes all the time because um, I'm going to be ceasing a lot with my with my wood wild thing which which has sleep and, and petrification so I'm not too sure I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna like wait a little bit because it's it's a pretty big investment to to six star monsters um, and I, I only have enough resources to to basically get one. Actually, I, I can almost get two to six stars. I should. Um, Dark Day's not over yet. I'm gonna try to farm a hundred midstones so I can I, I can I can maybe um, you know six star another dark monster if I really wanted to. There's there's so many dark monsters that I want to raise like the Hunter, the the Miho, um, Kira probably wanted to go go back and work on this Kira as well, and yeah and then. Well, I'm not sure about too sure about the dark snowy. I think the dark snowy is alright, but I do have a second dark July that I want to work on as well. So there's so many monsters, so many dark type monsters that I want to work on. There's there's a very very limited resource of um, of dark stones that I can use. All right, I actually have three light and dark eggs. I think these came from some random events. I have no idea how they came, but I'm gonna I'm gonna open all my eggs here, and um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna try to. I, I'm gonna save my my stuff for rebirthing because there's a, actually a monster I want, and I can always get Julys from from summoning, so I can very like just slowly, um, eventually evil three both my Julys. So it's not gonna be that bad. I wonder with three eggs if I can get a lightning on one of them because it's been forever since I got a light dark like nat, nat four monster. It's been really really long. I think I, I honestly think that the light dark nat four monsters are the best like in the game. Like some of them have like just insane skills that that outclass a lot of the nat fives in the game. Like normal element nat fives in the game. Also, some cults would be nice because I can use the I could use these um, the cults to raise my my cult to evil three, which I need like nine more of them. Oh my god, not wolves! Come on, give me, give me, some, give me a cult. Give me, give me some lightning. Oh yes! Oh, I got the dark tiger. What, what, what does he do? He has morale boost, attack down. Hmm. I think he's decent, but he's not. He's not exceptionally good. I mean, the good thing is he's a dark monster. So if I'm, and he's a. Oh wait, no, he's a tank though. Well, you could, you could, I could always use him as a utility monster, similar to the Dark, um, what's her name, Dark, Dark Victoria for like AOE attack down, because he can, he can spam this and then I can build him tanky, um, and then he can always be spamming attack down. But he's not, he's not, he's not like super exceptional. But, but holy shit, I finally got a lightning. I think, I think there's a trick to getting, getting lightnings on your. Um, on your eggs, light dark eggs. You should you should save a lot and summon them all at the same time. I think that's what I'm going to do in the future. Like whenever I get I get light dark eggs, I'm going to save until I have like five of them and then like pop them all at the same time. Cause cause in the future in the like before when I started playing the game, I I used to get a lot of like I I got the Wild Fang, um, Kira, 
and and Cupid from like just random lightnings from like dark eggs. And I remember when I summon them, I always have like a lot of eggs, and I always summon the eggs at the same time. So I think I think in the future I definitely want to um, pop all my eggs. As, oh shit, no square slot. That's that's really that's quite unfortunate. I don't think he's really usable. Like for me right now, I, I don't really think I I need to use him. But um, I mean, it's a it's a it's a kind of rare monster that nobody nobody really has. So it's it's definitely really really nice. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna yeah I was gonna save the all my all my uh, all my rebirths. I I'm not too sure if I wanna. I don't think I really need to work on my second Dark July, but I I'm just basically gonna keep her for now because it's nice to have another July just in case in the future I, I ever need to raise one but I'm not gonna raise her anytime soon because I I don't first of all one I don't have the gens for her two I can't really um you know I can't I can't I, don't, I can't make her evo 3 right now I don't have enough Julys to, to do that and I probably want to work on a light one first um to to use for like you know really reliable armor break I, I, I definitely think the light July is a really strong monster like 100% AoE armor break plus 100% um, seal for two turns. She's definitely going to be a beast in the arena if I if I can get her uh, her crit rate to max, which I probably can. I can just give her I can just give her this set, and it'll be it'll be maxed out on my wood wall thing. Which actually brings me back here because I I fucked up on my math last time, um, and she only has 92% crit rate. I'm missing 10%. So I don't think this gem set's really gonna work. I'm probably going to I'm gonna keep this one because this is like it has pretty good defensive stats that I can use. I'm probably gonna just pull this one out. Um, I'm gonna put in some random crit rate one, like crit rate gem, like like maybe this one or something. Um, and then or I could use that Valor one. Yeah, I don't think anybody needs this gem. I'll just like put in that one, and then I'll I'll put like an HP one on this one, just just to, you know, just just so I can have a hundred percent crit rate, to make sure she always does her stun, um, which I think is more important than than having high attack. Like I would have really preferred it if she have she could have one slot attack, but um, it is what it is. All right, so dragons is locked. I can't do anything until next week. Um, I'm basically basically going to just chill for a while, and I'm going to farm a lot of monas. Um, all the while, man, this isn't this is really bad because this is really bad because um, because the monas are farmable, right? So I'm basically, it's going to be just luck, like I literally, I don't need to do that many rebirths, I just need to do enough rebirths to get to get one dark one. I don't think the light one's really good, I, I'm not too sure, I, I didn't actually check it yet. Um, adrenaline Aggression. Damn, the light one's strong too, holy shit. She's a, she's a, like... She's a defense aggressor, um, on her like on her second skill. So so it's basically like only for nukes, but you can still build her with lots of just basically like really really high defense. And then she's gonna be AOE nuking for days because of adrenaline. She's balance type two. You know you know what this can actually be really good because. Oh no! Wait! No! 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 I was I was thinking of making like a uh, adrenaline nuker to farm, but then I I just like I was just really really dumb for one second. I was like, why not just use the dark one for that? Because the dark one actually is is dark, has higher crit damage, and has hunter. So um, <laughs> yeah, but her hunter is only only thirty percent. It's not it's not as strong. I mean, they can't they can't give out a monster that's like almost as strong as uh as the best monster in the game. This is the best monster in the game. This is sick. This is really, really sick. Um, but anyways, that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for for watching. I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, like doing. I, I I don't always make these stupid promises, but um, I'm serious this time. Like I I'm gonna start going back to doing reviews. Um, you know, bring back a lot of the old series and stuff. 
I'm not too sure about wanting to like go back to doing arena because I, uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't I don't find arena that that fun like for me anymore. Like I don't I don't feel the incentive to really try hard in arena because I mean you do get a little bit more gems every single week, but that's that's like basically it. Um, but then you have to put so much more time into doing PvP throughout the whole entire week when I can use that time to like go go and farm golems and, and dragons and stuff. Um, but I think I think after I get my Dragon Speed 10 team to to, to like um, you know the, the state that I want them to be, I'll I'll be I'll be going back to raising more monsters for the arena because there's not really anything else to to really do to get ahead in the game. Like besides arena and clan battles. But I think Arena might be a better investment because, um, you know, you're guaranteed, like, if you do well in the Arena, you're guaranteed to get those Astro Gems, like, those extra Astro Gems. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, wait, 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 I can buy a Gleam and do all my weekly summons. I might as well do that. I think I was collecting Wood Gleams. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm gonna buy it, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> I can't remember what I was collecting wood gleams for, but I, I have like three fire ones in inventory, so I started collecting the wood ones, and then I'm probably gonna collect some water ones starting next week. Oh shit, my Astromont inventory is full. I did not expect that. Alright, fuck it. The, the, the video is gonna be too long, anyways. Um, I'll, I'll summon next time, like on, on the next video. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next, next video. Peace out.